Hello everybody, it is Monday, May 18th, and Classroom the Cabinet is Classroom the Classroom. If you'll see where I am, I am in the classroom, which is super weird. But I had to come in to take care of some stuff and get your packets ready to mail out. Uh, the last step on them, but now we're here, and I'm going to use my whole whiteboard. But look at we're in the classroom. It's real. Isn't this crazy? Remember, remember. All right. So this week we're starting our passion projects. These passion projects are going to take us to the end of the school year, until the last week, where we'll be presenting and celebrating the end of fifth grade. It's broken up into multiple weeks, so that way you don't have to do too much at one time and you don't get behind. If you are on top of it for each week, then you are good. So let's touch base on your week one activities for your passion project. This week, you need to be brainstorming. Okay, and there's some guiding questions in your packets that were both emailed out and are gonna be in the mail by 11 o'clock today. It is currently 10, 27. You're going to be brainstorming your ideas, something you care about. It's up to you, something you care about, something that you feel like you can do a big project on that is something close to you. Okay, so I'm not going to do one on high heels because I don't care about high heels. Okay, you're also going to be expanding your ideas. So once you get a small idea of what you might want to do, you're going to continue to think about it and push yourself and continue to see how much you can get out of your idea. And if you can't keep coming up with more questions and more wonderings, then maybe that isn't the right project, okay? Once you've continued to expand your idea, you're gonna finally choose your topic, okay? So maybe you were thinking about doing baseball, um, immigration, and uh, breakfast foods. I don't know. Okay, as you're brainstorming and coming up with ideas for all of them, whichever one you think you can do the best on, you're gonna then choose your idea. You're going to choose your topic. This is the one that you're going to commit to. Once you choose it week one, everything you do week two, week three, week four, week five is all going to relate to the same topic. So if you start change, if you change your mind in two weeks, it's probably just going to be way too hard for you, and you're not going to do that. Okay? Come up with your inquiry. inquiry. Come up with your inquiry. Yeah, that's a hard word for me today question okay what's the big question you're trying to answer the kind of question that's so big you can have other mini questions underneath it okay what is the origin of breakfast foods okay why are breakfast foods different than lunch foods okay and then my other questions were where did the croissant come from how did we get french is french toast really french and i have all these questions that go from my big topic down I continue to have questions and questions and questions. But my big question is my inquiry question. And then finally, you're going to share your idea with your teacher. And during this time, it's, you need to show me your idea first. Because I want to make sure that you are on the path to be successful. I want to make sure that your idea is good enough for you to be successful with it. However, I won't know unless you share it with me. So, Please email me, schedule a time. If you want to one-on-one -on -one, or if you want to wait till the class meetings on Tuesday, Thursdays, you need to make sure you are sharing with me. Our class meetings are all going to be about checking in with our projects. And we're also going to continue on with volume. It's the same volume as last week with our three-dimensional rectangles. I just am a poor artist when it comes to three-dimensional rectangles. But we had our two, five, three... Our area equals length times width times height. Okay? We just plug in our numbers. Two, three, five. Okay? And then I get 30. I check to see if there was a unit at the end of it, which there's not. So it's just 30. If it is my example here, I have inches. My answer will be in inches. This is the area of a two-dimensional shape. Now, the reason we're going to look at this is we're going to look at what two combined shapes would look like if you're trying to find the volume. So if you're trying to find the volume of this shape, I'm sorry you can't see the numbers very well. This is further away than I'm used to having the camera. If you can't find the volume of this shape, or the area of this shape, the area of this one is going to be length times width. I'm so glad I have this poster right here. But this shape is quirky. It's not just a normal rectangle. So what we're going to do is, as my head is cut off, we're going to make it a rectangle. I'm going to draw a dotted line here. So now I have a rectangle right here. I have a rectangle right here. Now what you may notice is 
I don't have all my sides. So in a, this example, I'm not able to find my area yet. So I've got this side is 10, this whole side is 20, but since I split it up into two rectangles, I need to focus on how, what is the length of this and what is the length of this. Okay? Now if I look up here, it tells me that from here to here is 12 inches. So this whole thing is 20, but this is 12. This and this are the same. I just need to figure out what this is. And that's a simple subtraction problem. So here I'll do my 20 minus 12. This then becomes eight, if I even do a dotted line like this, eight inches. Okay. I can erase this 20 because I don't need it anymore. So now I have 15, eight, and 12. The only thing now I'm missing is nothing. So if I find the area of this first rectangle, we go area 10 inches times 12, excuse me, 12 inches equals 120 inches squared. And then I find the area of the second rectangle, and that's 8 inches times 15 inches. So 15 times 10 would be 150, minus 16 would be 136 inches squared. And then I just add them together, which will give me a complete answer of 256 inches squared. So I separate it into two rectangles, find the area of each, and then combine it. So that is our volume. Okay, we're going to continue to push that. We also have in your packets that are being sent out today a math project you can work on for a couple weeks as well. So be able to choose between the online math and the road trip math we're sending out and then also um, you know we might have some other fun ideas that we'll be doing as the year goes by because normally this time of year we'd be doing all of the awesome fun projects to end up uh, closing out Madrona fifth grade uh, really strong. So we're going to adapt that and do those from home slash online. So the last thing we have, I'm going to raise this, is our office hours this week. Remember Tuesdays and Thursdays, 10, 30. These usually run about half an hour, sometimes they go a little more. These meetings are, I know that we started on Zoom and we switched back to Teams but we're actually going to switch all the way back to Zoom. Now, my reasons are, one, you can see people more on Zoom. The district has been working really hard on getting the security on Zoom better, so we now have permission to use it. And two, the main reason why I really like Zoom is when we are working on school stuff together, on Teams, the students cannot independently share their answers with me without the other students knowing. However, on Zoom, our kids are able to individually, individually message me and send me their answers and thoughts. So I can actually look at everyone's answers without their answers influencing the rest of the group. And when we're all video chatting together, having a workable, usable chat for everyone is so much more important than just being able to shout out and take turns. So we are moving back to Zoom on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Keep in mind, please, if you want to have your own independent meeting with me about your project, say you want to meet Wednesday at 10.15. If you want to talk about your project, but you don't want to come to any other class hours, I get it. Class meetings and class hours are all going to be about helping you with the project from now up to the next couple weeks. Okay, so if you feel like an independent meeting with me about your project is more, you can get that done and don't want to worry about this, and that is understandable. Also, Friday at 1 p.m., I do a small group slash makeup class meeting. I had th there four people on Friday, and... Those were people who weren't able to make it to the other meetings and we were able to get them on board. They were able to hear what we were talking about and it was excellent macaroni. So please email me before Friday to see if there's space. I try to have no more than five kids. Um, so please let me know. So we are going to Zoom Tuesday, Thursdays, and then Friday at 1 p.m. Any other meetings? So go ahead and let me know. We are on the final countdown. Five weeks, 24 school days. I can't believe it. Especially standing here in the classroom and seeing it half clean, half in stasis it's just a little crazy so let's stay awesome let's stay together and uh i will talk to you guys later goodbye